Edward the Confessor was the last king of the House of Wessex, reigning for 24 years from 1042 to 1066. He was born in Oxfordshire around the year 1003, the seventh son of King Ethelred the Unready. His mother was Emma of Normandy. His childhood was marred by war and conflict from Viking raids targeting England. In 1013, Swain Forkbeard seized the throne, forcing Emma to flee with her sons, Edward and Alfred. He spent much of his life in France. His father, Ethelred, died in 1016, and Edward's half-brother, Edmund Ironside, continued to fight against the Danes. Swain Forkbeard's son, Canute, and Edmund divided the kingdom between themselves, but Edmund died by the end of 1016 and Canute took the throne for himself. Canute had Edward's half-brother, Edvig, killed, leaving Edward the next in line to the throne. Canute then married Edward's mother in 1017. Edward vowed he would return to England one day as its rightful king. Edward received the backing of the Duke of Normandy and the Church. The Church supported him due to his conviction and deep religious faith, which he would later become well known for. Despite the support, his chances of becoming king were slim, especially due to his mother favouring her son Harthacanute by Canute. In 1035, Canute died and Harthacanute put all his focus on Denmark leaving the English throne vacant. Harold Harefoot, the older half-brother of Harthaganut, took this opportunity and took the English throne for himself. A year later, Edward and Alfred travelled to England. They were attacked by Godwin, Earl of Wessex. Alfred was blinded with hot pokers and succumbed to his injuries. Edward held a seething hatred and grudge against Godwin. Edward returned to Normandy. In 1040, Harold died and Harthacanute took the throne. Harthacanute invited Edward to England. In 1042, Edward would become king upon his brother's death. His coronation took place at Winchester Cathedral on the 3rd of April, 1043. He did not forget all that had happened to him. He felt that his mother had abandoned him in favour of his brother and deprived her of her property. Edward faced opposition in Scotland and Wales. He managed a forceful campaign and in 1053 ordered the assassination of the southern Welsh prince, Rhys ap Rydderc. Griffith ap Llewellyn emerged in 1055 and declared himself the ruler of Wales but he was forced back by the English, who forced Llewellyn to swear an oath of loyalty to the king. Edward was heavily influenced by his Norman upbringing, which did contribute to a growing atmosphere of resentment against him. In 1042, he ordered the building of Westminster Abbey. In January 1045, to placate the English, Edward married Edith, a daughter of Godwin, Earl of Wessex. They had no children. Edward's position as king was compromised by the power held by the earls, especially Godwin, Leofric and Seward. They grew resentful over the king's favouritism towards Normandy. Tensions boiled over when Edward chose Robert of Jumies as Archbishop of Canterbury, instead of Godwin's choice. The Archbishop accused Godwin of plotting to kill the king. Edward seized this opportunity to oust Godwin and in 1051 he had Godwin and Godwin's family exiled. One of Godwin's sons, Wolfnoth, was arrested and kept imprisoned for the rest of his life. Edith was sent to a nunnery due to the falling out and possibly due to their marriage not producing any heirs, and Edward hoping to divorce her. When the Godwins returned a year later, Edith was reinstated as queen. Later in his reign, Edward began distancing himself from the political scene, preferring to engage in pleasure and attending church. Soon the Godwin family were seen as the real power behind the throne. In 1053, Harold, Godwin's son, began to deal with rebellions in the north of England and Wales. Edward chose Harold as his successor, even though it had been established that William, Duke of Normandy, would assume the throne. This decision would lead to conflict later after Edward's death. 
In December 1065, King Edward fell into a coma. And on the 5th of January 1066, he died.